let's start with our earth giant's eyes. So to start with his eyes, we have to start with the eyebrows. The eyebrows are rectangles. Simple shapes that we know how to draw. You can change the direction of the eyebrows to change his expression. So if you want him to look grumpy or angry or confused, then for his eyes, they're a little bit closer together. So halfway through this eyebrow, I'm going to do part of a circle. It's going to go around and come back. Halfway through the eyebrow, around and come back. And your eyebrows don't have to look exactly the same. Because our earth giant is made of rocks and boulders, it doesn't have to be perfectly the same on both sides. So one eye can be a little bit wonky. That's fine. And for our earth giant's head, he has kind of a flat head. Because his brains are all rocks. He wouldn't have a giant head. Then for his nose, we have little steps off to the side showing how to draw a nose. That starts with a curve. Then a curve underneath. Then two lines out to the sides. Then for his jaw, and if I'm going too fast, which I feel like I probably am, Pause it between each steps. That's totally fine. That's why that pause button is there for you. Then for his jaw, it looks like a giant letter D, a capital letter D, on its side. And that goes out a little bit past the eyebrows. Then a big curve down, up, and around. Then we got to do his cheekbones. His cheekbones kind of look like a roller coaster, where it goes over and then up and then down, and then it goes across. So, for our roller coaster cheekbones, we start at the end of the eyebrow, go over a tiny bit, up and down like a roller coaster, and then back over. Over, up and down, and back over. And like I already said, if your two sides are different, like mine are different, totally fine, because our person is made of rocks and boulders. Then we have some little cracks and crevices in his jaw. And these cracks and crevices don't have to look the exact same way that's on the step-by-step -step page. Yours can look different, totally fine. Now for our man's shoulders. His head is kind of hunched down, so we don't see his neck. His shoulders are behind his head. We're starting out right next to the eyebrow. Curves down. Curves down. And then we have diagonal lines going up from the jaw. And if you have some hanging off there, that's totally fine. That's why we use pencils. Mess ups happen. And actually... We kind of want them to happen sometimes. Mess ups are good, they teach us. That's why pencils have erasers. Then we have to do his man muscles on his chest. Those muscles, their scientific name is called a pectoral muscle. And these don't have to even be the same size. One can be smaller because our man is made of rocks. Now for his big old belly, because these are big and strong and they got big strong pectoral muscles, but they still got a big belly, because it takes a lot of food to feed a earth giant. That belly is like the, the, it is the shape of a letter U. Then for his feet, and don't forget to pause it if you need to, totally fine if I'm going too fast. For his legs, we just have two straight lines down, but we don't want these to be too tall. Because even though our earth giant is a giant, his legs are kind of stubby. You could probably even use this same thing to try and draw a troll. But instead of making him look like rocks, you would make him look like skin. Then we have our legs, and we have some steps to the side showing how to draw the legs. So we did that one, and then we did that one. Now we need some little toes. The little toes 
are shaped like weird rectangles. And I have two toes on the examples, but you can do three if you want. However many you want to fit. But then after you do the toes, we have to draw a line that goes behind them. That one is tough. So we're going to draw a line that goes from here to the toe, then a line in between the two toes, then from the toe to the edge of the foot, from the edge of the leg to the toe, between the two toes, between these two toes, and connecting to the end. If that's too hard, you can just not have toes. That's totally fine too. Now for our arms, our arms stick out a little bit further. These guys have big upper bodies, small lower bodies. Then we're going to have two lines going down on either side and our lines end about where the belly meets the leg. Right there where the belly meets the leg. Good. Then we have to do the underside of the arm. So right here where the pectoral muscle touches the belly, we're doing a diagonal. And the same thing on the other side. Then we do a line for the bottom of the wrists. Oh, I forgot a step on the legs. Doop, doop, doop. Back up. I forgot the knees. For the knees, it's kind of like a castle line. So we go over, down, over, up, over. But remember, it doesn't have to be exactly the same because these are made of boulders. So I made that one kind of like a V instead of like a square. Now, where was I? I finished this step, now I'm here. So it says the hands are like mittens. So when we have mittens, these four fingers are together and the thumb is by itself. And the thumbs should be on the inside because whenever you're walking, your thumbs are closer to your body. So we should have a rock shaped thumb, which is basically some squiggles and corners. Then for the mitten, that, just a squiggly line to show, that's bigger, to show the other fingers. A smaller rock shaped thumb. Then a squiggly line to show the other fingers. Now we have the same line that we had on the knees, but for the elbows. A squiggly line. Remember this is a squiggle, not a scribble. Squiggles and scribbles are different. And now we're basically done. Now you get to put in little cracks and crevices where you want to put them to make your rock giant look like a real rock giant. Here is an example of one that I've done before. I outlined everything with marker, then I colored it in with crayon. And I even drew some trees and flowers on top of his head. I would love to see how yours turn out. Have fun!